The press run for Coming to America continues. Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall's latest stop was Jimmy Kimmel Live, where they revealed that they were forced to put comedian Louis Anderson in the film because the studio told them there had to be a white person in the movie. Once the public found out, there were a few white online users who were quick to call Eddie and Arsenio racist because of the issue. Today, we've got our comedy hype analyst, Pierre, on the show to talk all about it. Now, before we dive in it, let's, let's take a quick look at the clip. I uh, love Louis, but I think we were forced to put Louis in it. What? <laughs> no, I, I think we were forced, forced to put a white person. <laughs> yeah, Paramount was like, with the because the whole cast is black, so it was like, we have to have a white person, and we can't do, it has to be a white person in the movie. Like, what? <laughs> Who's the funniest white guy around, right? And, the, um, and Louis, we knew him, was cool with him, and so he, that's how Louis got in the movie. Now, today is going to be a very interesting one, Pierre, but, <laughs> but after seeing that clip, what, what's your first reaction to it? Um... I appreciate Eddie Murphy trying to put a, an all-black cast together, and the racist power, of, you know, that may be, wanted a white person in there, and I think that uh, they just showed their hand that, you know, <laughs> that, you know, they, you know, they, they, they won. Paramount had the money in the push, and they wanted to put a white person in there. I think if you, you know, if if you say something about race and you want that person in a particular, particular person, the opposite sex, I mean, opposite, opposite, uh, you know, race, race right? or, yeah. or or um, or your same race, you know, there's there's, there's racism right there. Yeah. You're picking, talking about the race. Now, a lot of people, um, a lot of white, as I mentioned, white online users went to Twitter to tweet um, calling both of them racist. And I want to read some of those tweets. One uh, user just blankly says, that's racist. Another user says, that's strange. I thought forced diversity was a good thing. It's not as though white people didn't exist in New York during the 80s. But of course, it's racist to suggest an all black cast in a movie set in New York City have a token white dude. Another user um, also says, wow, and all we hear is white privilege. So these rat bags are better than white people. Racism at its best, and it's not the white people that are racist. So I think that kind of poses the question that we hear a lot is, can black people be racist? Yep. A black person. You're talking about individuals? Yes. Black you think, can black people, let's start there. Can black people as a whole be racist? Not as a whole if you're talking about trying to stop somebody as a whole. No. I can't believe that, but individually, yes. So do you agree with them? So then you agree with them that Eddie, if Eddie Murphy said, hey, I want an all-black leading cast, mm -hmm. that he could be racist? Sure. sure. How? Because he's picking, he wants only black people in his movie. That's a race, right? It's a race of people. He wants black people in his movie. Now, I applaud him for doing it because so many times well, black people weren't working. So I don't have a problem with him trying to get it done, but it's still behind the clove of, of a racist. But, be race, you know, being racist, I don't call it racist, but racism. Yeah, so it is. Sure. In that case, isn't that representation? Because if he was to say, oh, I want black people because I don't want white people, as opposed to him saying, oh, I want black people to give representation to my people, to put my people in places where they haven't sure. been, sure. that doesn't really make sense to me as to how you could call Eddie a racist for wanting to put black people as a... It's not like he said, I don't want white people in my movie at all. Okay. I don't want... And, and when okay. Paramount came to him, they didn't, he didn't, you know, they didn't oppose so, to it. So when white, people, white, when white people just put white people in a movie, are they racist? Haven't they? But that's not the question I'm asking you. When, white, when a white person does the same thing, Eddie, but just put white, I don't want blacks in it, I want yes, all white. Yes, let me tell you why. Are they racist? Yes, and let me tell you why. Oh, they could be racist, but let, a black person let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. White people will put all white people sure. in it because they just don't want to have a black person in it. Sure. Okay. Not because they want representation for the people, because their people have representation. What they, what? White people have been in movies all, they, they, they've done this. So for a white person to say, oh, hey, I don't want to cast a black person because he's black. Yes, that's racist. But I doubt that a black person is saying, oh, I don't want to cast a white person because they're white. No, I don't want to cast a white person because I want to make sure that my black people have representation. And that's what that's to me. That's that's the difference in a white person saying, oh, I want an all white cast and a black person saying I want an all black cast. The black people are pushing for representation in our community while the white people are saying, I want an all-white cast so, because I feel like I'm better than these black no, people. No, I don't but, want but, these but, black people. And hold not all. Let me say some, some white And a white person can say the some. same thing. I just want my representation. More white people in my stuff. What they representation? They have representation. Well, well, they continue to have it. They, they can continue. And friends, they can keep saying, there, I want all white there, people in my stuff. I don't think there's any white person that can say, oh, hey, I want to make this all-white cast because my people need more representation. Just regular white people. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense. You've had representation. You have representation. Okay, so whether it's it's it, it, even if we take it outside of movies, when you look at companies that have a board that's, that's all white people, their diversity right. is a, a white person, or or like that doesn't make any sense it, until you say, okay, hey, you know, I, I I see these people need some type of representation. White people don't need representation. So, they so, have so, it. No, you, I agree with that. So you're telling me that 
why haven't they put a token black person in them? Like they did a friend, they put a token black girl. That's okay, they put a token, I'm just putting them because they're black. I'm just putting them in there. Not because of necessarily that I need them, I want, I just want to make sure it looks good. Are you all right? I don't think a black person would feel that way. Eddie didn't say, oh, well, let me, let me, you know, just because I feel better. Like he, as soon as they said, okay, let's, we need a white person based on the interview. Right. He said, okay, well, let me find a white person. I guarantee, I guarantee if that was flip flop, a white person would be like, no, I don't want a black person. But I do want to give another example because Dave Chappelle, before, before we head out, right. Dave Chappelle did the exact same thing, except he quit his show with Fox. Mm -hmm. And I want to read his exact quote mm -hmm. because he said, so he, he created a show, mm -hmm. pitched it to Fox, Fox picked it up. Good. Fox then told him, I need your leading your leading member, your, your leading cast member, to be changed from a black woman to a white woman. That's racist. This is what they said. The idea that unless I have white people around me on my show and that it's unwatchable or doesn't have a universal appeal is racist. You know, they don't make them put black people on Friends or they don't make them put black people on Seinfeld. But all of a sudden, when I get in the room and it's like, where's all the white people, Dave Chappelle? So if anything, these white users that are saying that freaking Eddie and Arsenio Hall is racist, they need to be saying that Paramount is racist for saying I would be the first one to say that. I'll I say per Paramount, they're racist too. They've always been racist. It's always, we're just saying, okay, let us be racist now and put our own people in the shit. How about that? I have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with Eddie Murphy doing what he's trying to do. Yeah. I have no problem with that. But I don't care if it's race, racism, prejudice, whatever. If he's doing the same thing the white folks been doing and he's trying to do the same thing, I have no problem with that. But let's say if I'm going to call the white man for doing that a racist, I'm going to call the black man the same thing for racist. I think the, the intention is different. When a black person is saying, I want an all black has, it's for representation. You, you, want, you want it like that. You want it I like don't, that. that. That's how it that's is. How you you got to look all at right. the, the heart. The heart of it is so, black people need representation, especially of course, back then they needed it. Of course they do. But you I don't know, they, know if it's, sometimes it's just niggas want to be what they want to do. And fuck it. I, want, I don't want white folks around. I don't want white people around my set at all. Straight up. I don't want them. Now Spike you know, Lee, I don't want them. You know, you know they're going to get you in the comments. That's what, they, that's what I'm here for. I'm for that smoke. What the hell you think you hired me for? The smoke. <laughs> Put it in the comments. Well, I'm hot, Pierre. I'm hot. Make sure you listen to everything and listen to it once or twice and then put it in the comments. <laughs> You heard from us, now we want to hear from you in the comments below. Can Eddie Murphy be considered racist for one of the all black cast? For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. <laughs> what? I'm a racist? Oh, come on, man. No, you know I love Eddie Murphy. No, come on. No, that's not what I said, man. Did you listen to what I said, man? Damn. Uh, you know what? How about this? Pull up this Friday. That's right. This Friday, we're doing a live taping of a Comedy Hype News show. Yes, live. You can save my face there. Yeah, Symphony going to be there. Capone gonna be there and read it. It's a live show. All right, if you got something to say, say bring it on, okay? Damn the comments. Say it to me then, all right? That's what I'm saying. I can't believe it. I'm a racist, man. I love Eddie Murphy. I'm racist to me. Man, come on, y'all.